guys, Harrison here, back again with another video, another tutorial. So, I uploaded a video this morning, well, last night really, but it didn't come up until this morning. Uh, or right now, actually, I need to fix that. Um, giving you an overview of uh, Digicam Control. Um, it's an app I use for, um, for my camera with my computer. Um, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and look at it. It's, uh, it's going to be in the eye icon. I don't know where it is. I'm, I think it's up here. I can hear you adjusting. Stop adjusting, man. All right. But anyway, um, it's been pretty good to me, as I said in the video, but there is another app. This is my email. There is another version of the app that is more suited for what we are looking for. I think the developers back in 2019 saw that a lot of their guy, a lot of their customers were trying to use it. As you guys can see on the screen, there's a Digicam control, Digicam control. I don't like keep saying com. Digicam control virtual webcam. So an app, an application to emulate DSLR camera as web camera, and making available applications like Zoom, Skype, Facebook, YouTube. I think it means OBS when it means YouTube. But that is what we are going to look at today. Start live view right here. Um, and so I'll close that. That's ugly. And we're gonna go ahead and add this. Oh, hello. Click OK. I already did that. And then DCC virtual camera. So there you go. And then at that point, you can just resize it. You know, you might have to crop the black bars out depending if you're shooting in 1080 or 720. Um, which if you don't know how to do that, just hold Alt, and you're good. Hold, hold alt and then move the arrows around so there you go um this might be your cam link alternative i know i'm definitely going to try and get a capture card at least for this um just for my own purposes because i don't really see a point in um i mean i see the value in this but i also know that it's like this isn't going to be the kind of quality i want it's, a, it's, it's better, it's much better than uh, just regular digital control, but I know that like, especially with the way I record videos and the way I wanna record videos, I need this thing to be able to stretch out and be big, and if it's not, then this I, this is unusable. If I were to record a whole video like this, this is, this is like 360p, right? Yeah, it's 360p. There's probably a way I can do it. I'm actually gonna go ahead and try to for a little bit. Let me see. Can you? Freaking not, dude. Look at that. Thank you. But like even here, it's like you can tell it's just bad. You know, but there's probably a way I can do it from here. Probably not. Um, AFC. Okay. So you can flip the image. There it is right there. Uh -huh. Focus. Um, it's, it's right now it's at 81 frames a second, which is really good. I don't really need it that fast, but hey, you know, I'm not complaining. Aperture, you can change. Um, I'm at, my, the max my lens can go is 1.8, which honestly right there didn't make a difference. Shutter speed, I don't know what my camera can go to. I haven't done much stuff. Um, but yeah, you can stop live view, you can do whatever you want. Right here looks fine, but look, look at the bottom corner of the screen. Um, or I guess I can blow it up for you, but there is a bunch of screen tearing when I move. Not to mention, that's, that's more my camera's problem. But there is a bunch of screen tearing when you move. If you're shooting at 60 frames a second, um, Basically, what this is saying is that OBS can't, ha or the application that OBS is running through can't handle it, which is kind of unfortunate. But you know what? If you're not totally into video quality like I am, if you're just looking for something to like, to just do, I guess, then go for it. You know, use this app. It's it's great. It's uh, I completely, you know, I I will recommend it if you don't need it. Or if you if you don't want to get a cam link because honestly this is the best alternative that I can see right now you can hook your camera up to a USB cable into your computer and then you can use it as a webcam which is far better than anything else that I've produced so or that I can you know think of but I'm definitely you know loving these apps um, I have no complaints other than the fact that my camera is not that my camera doesn't have full compatibility with them which is fine you know no big deal um, my personal recommendation, get a capture card, but this is the next best thing, honestly. It's the Digicam Control webcam, virtual webcam. So if you, can, if you get this one, you'll be satisfied up until you can afford to get your capture card when your streaming gets big enough, or when your YouTubing gets big enough. So 
Um, that's really all I had for today. Another quick video. Well, quick for my channel, I guess. And you guys know me. I like to post my 30-minute videos. If you found this video informative for you or helpful to you, um, go ahead and drop a like down below. Uh, comment and you know, leave a heart. But now to do that. <laughs> um, and then, obviously, you want to subscribe. I'm pretty sure I'm out of focus. I feel like I'm out of focus. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just tripping out. I am tripping. See, the, mm, this is why I don't use it that much. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.